Hey everyone, this is Rocky from We Learn Chess, and today I just wanted to do a quick tactical puzzle video. So this position came up from a game analysis. So I just played a quick blitz game online, uh, and although this position didn't come up in the game, in some deep analysis with lots of lines, this position came up and I just thought that variation was kind of cool, so I wanted to show it. If you're wondering how such a crazy position even came about, uh, it's a result of one of those Danish gambit lines. Uh, I didn't show this position at all in my previous videos on accepting the Danish Gambit, but um, as you can see from those videos, the positions do get really crazy very fast if Black accepts the two-pawn sacrifice in the opening. Uh, so, um, okay, in this case we have opposite sides castling. Both of the kings are exposed a little bit here. Uh, it seems like maybe the white king has a little more defense. Um, the black king is probably at some point hoping to step back here um, and maybe maybe give a little lift here. It, it depends on how things go, but um, this this g7 spot is a pretty weak point for black. There's already some pressure x-raying that. You can imagine one of the rooks may be coming over here too. So even though black is, from a material perspective, totally winning this position, he's up a piece and has a slightly better pawn structure as well as a protected pass pawn, um, it's not necessarily immediately over if, if black doesn't play uh, forcefully enough. I mean, he could potentially give white some counterattacking chances. So that's the idea here. It is black to move, and again, even though black is winning the position, the point is how can black bring the game to an immediate close um, forcefully? So if you want to put your video on pause, you can go ahead and, and do that. Okay, so um, I gave a little bit of a hint with the forcefully idea, so you want to be looking most likely here at, at checks, and it does look like the white king is a little exposed here. Even though it has a couple defenders around it, the light squares are a little bit weak. Um, black does have a light square bishop, and um, also sometimes when you have your king and your bishop on the same color, in the one sense it's good that it protects the diagonal, in the other sense uh, sometimes it takes away a square for the king. So there's a couple ways for black to proceed here. They both involve a queen, temporary queen sacrifice. So perhaps the funner way to continue would be to sacrifice the queen immediately and takes, takes, and then the only move here would be to stop checking, would be to block. Uh, and then there's a nice continuation here with takes, and after the king takes, getting this discovered check here on the king, taking advantage of those weak light squares that we mentioned. And white probably has nothing better than to take this piece, and then black could take back either way. I think the computer wanted to take with this, but probably doesn't matter at this point. At this point, I'm sure the, the opponent hadn't already resigned, he would. Uh, and if we go back here to the beginning, you actually can sacrifice the queen on the second move if you like that a little bit better. Check here, takes again to prevent checkmate, and again to prevent checkmate, and you can even take this, and we get the same exact variation at the end here. So that's just a nice little nifty finish, I thought, there, and I'm sure that I wouldn't have come up with it necessarily in the game, uh, but definitely fun to take a look at anything that involves a queen sacrifice, whether it's a real one or just a temporary one in this case. Hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you around for the next video.